Now that's a mall. First up, arcade. Got a high score to defend. Yeah, you won't be so lucky this time. Play your silly games, but Ronto is here on a mission. Mission? To acquire a new handbag. Yeah. What? I need more pockets. This was a great idea, guys. A little downtime is exactly what we need. You're gonna love this place, Eli. It's got everything. Everything except people. Are we early? Maybe it's closed. Explain it. Zombies. My dad and I would watch a zombie movie marathon together, so I know what I'm talking about. And the first rule of zombie infestations, don't panic. Uh, what's the second rule? Zombies are scary, but slow, and only dangerous in numbers. If we make our way calmly to the exit, we should have no problem getting... Slow? Your zombie rule book needs an update, bro. <laughs> yeah, rule number three? Run! Definitely not your usual mall invasion zombie. Find a good place to hide. Whoa. Way more like the mad science movie Living Zombies Ate My Brain than the rotting reanimated kind from Mall of the Lurching Dead. Back up. First, zombies. Second, zombies! <laughs> hmm. Now! <laughs> Smarts! Come out of there! Thought you were a zombie. Millard Milford, security slinger. Sorry about that. But the racket you all made, well, can't be too careful. So you're like a mall cop? Some of your less enlightened citizens call us that, sure. But a security slinger is honor bound to right all wrongs wherever he's paid. Whether it's a, a mall, mall or, or a movie, movie house. The playground or the, or the pool. Uh -huh. eh, a kid can dream. And from such humble dreams do heroes grow, my friend. <clears throat> Eli Shane. My gang. Trixie, Korg, and... Pronto? Mm, a bit matchy-matchy. No, Pronto's bag must pop. Shane gang, huh? You made it this deep into the mall, you must be as good as your rap. Except we're actually looking for a way out? Not likely. With zombies blocking every exit. First zombies showed up around 12 hours ago, grabbing people and hauling them away. Tried to stop them, but there were just too many. Got off an APB over the security slinger network. I barely managed to hole up in here to wait for the cavalry. You have a network? Awesome. If we wait here, zombies are gonna find us and haul us off too. No offense. Vigilantes like yourselves may not respect them all badge, but my brothers in baby blue look out for our own. Yelsey. But with your knowledge of them all and our help, maybe we can escape now, together. Take the enemy off guard. 
I like your plan, Shane Man, but we'll need supplies. Hardware store. But we're armed to the teeth. Uh, no, Millard's right. We're gonna need a length of garden hose, a tube of epoxy, three road flares, a ball peen hammer, and a pack of jerky. What for? Not sure. In the movies, the heroes get zombified before they can use any of it. But uh, we'll, we'll figure something out. Got it! The perfect handbag! Shane Man, take point, second level. Off the escalator to the right. Millard Milford will run interference and catch up to you. But the path's clear, we should go together. Or is that what they want us to think? Go on, I'll be right behind. Hey, zombies! <laughs> Today's special, Millard Milford on the hoof. Get him while he's fresh! <laughs> Who knew a simple security slinger would become almost as noble a hero as Pronto himself? He was a brave man. Did he say the hardware store was to the left or to the right? Mm -hmm. Ah, I see now. Oh, if we are the eggs, the candle store is... No, 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 oh, no. no. The, the, the taco stand is just to the left of... <laughs> no, there's a bag that pops. Well, the good news is, by this point in a zombie movie, the team is always down by two. So even without Millard, we're kind of beating the odds. Great, but anyone seen Pronto? <laughs> Everybody wants something. We can trade. I will begin. Pronto wants to live. What do zombies want? <laughs> Who are you people? What do you want from me? My loyal minions wish only to serve Mr. Saturday. And Mr. Saturday wants... War cushions. And more big screens. And snacks. But most of all, more... Minions! Okay, nobody panic. We just need a foolproof plan to find and rescue Pronto and clear out without becoming zombie chow ourselves. In the movie, I stalk with a zombie, the heroes attempt to rescue their friend by cutting their way through the ceiling and... Uh, then they get chomped. But in Postmortem Peak, they made their way to safety through the air ducts. Until they got chomped. Eli, forget the movies. This is real life. Pronto's missing, and we need to figure out what's going on here. Quick, open up! It's... Pronto? Uh... Like we're not even here. Probably for the best, considering a hungry zombie would be trying to eat our brains. Pronto's not rotting or even oozing. For a zombie, he's remarkably healthy looking. Maybe we can still cure him, but we won't know unless we get out there and find out what's causing this. The moment we step out there, aren't we zombie bait? Not if they don't notice us. These zombies aren't decaying. They're like Pronto. We might be able to help them, so don't hurt them. Of course, in case I'm wrong, don't let them bite you or eat your brains. Skull stays closed. Got it. 
Zombies don't want brains, they want big screens. It's just looting. Not exactly normal zombie behavior. Which you know from watching a whole bunch of movies. And if it wasn't for me watching those movies with my dad, we'd be in worse trouble than we are now. Sylvia, don't you give them money. Goodness, Howard, these aren't beggars. <laughs> I know exactly what this is. It's one of those flash mobs the kids are into. Performance art. <laughs> See, Howard, they're friendly. And you two are adorable. Ooh, Howard, take a picture. You're only encouraging them, Sylvia. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, hey, hands off the merchandise there, fella. Oh, Howard, be a sport. Not here. We follow. Maybe we'll find answers. <laughs> Looks like we're just in time for the show. Magicians, worse than mimes. But you've never seen this trick before, I promise. Keep your eye on the slug. That's a hypnogriff. Hypnosis slug? A ghoul hypnosis slug. That's a cryptogriff. Which amps and twists mind reading into mind control. No wonder the zombies aren't trying to eat us. These aren't zombie apocalypse zombies. They're old school voodoo zombies. Whole different breed. <laughs> now, be so kind as to fetch me a snack and a cool beverage. Ungooling that slug is key to reversing this. Doc, you up for this? <laughs> Are there any free thinkers among us? Well, I suppose I'll have to do something about that. Answer two questions for me. Who and why? For the next few seconds, you may call me Mr. Saturday. And why does anyone go into business for himself? Hmm? For fun and profit, of course. The profit part speaks for itself. As for fun... <laughs> Nothing beats people falling all over themselves to fulfill your every whim and desire. Ooh, speaking of, final thoughts you'd like to share before I draft you into service? How about attacking Millard Milford's mall was a huge voodoo? Don't! Miller? Yes. Takes more than a bunch of drooling, stinking zombies to put the takedown on Miller Milford, security slinger! All right, now can we go? No time. We have to end Mr. Saturday's reign of terror in the right here and now. He's right. We have to do something. We're way outnumbered. Why not just wait for your backup? Because an entire slug Terran express car from Shady Acres is going to be here any minute for their weekly shopping trip. Do you want to sit idly by when someone's sweet, innocent grandma gets zombied? Not a chance. Those seniors will have no idea what they're walking into. Just one more detail. 
If you're gonna be enforcing mall justice, we need to make this official. Raise your right hand. This is really happening. On my honor, I will defend the mall against all enemies. Be they kleptos, loiterers, or skull-faced zombie overlords. Shane's honor! Prepared for the assault on Mount Food Court? Wait, we can't bring Pronto like this. It's for your own good, buddy. Now let's do this! To me on their knees. Remember, they're innocent victims. Don't hurt them. Don't worry. I will lay a finger on the little darlings. Didn't get your name, boy. Shane, Eli Shane, planning to write me from jail? Is Shane? I shouldn't be surprised. You have skills I can use in my business. Not as a slave, no, but as a partner. We'll never work with you, freely or otherwise. You ghouled your slug. You're in league with Dr. Black. Eat wrong. Saturday is his own man. Black may have given me the ghoul tick, but I work for no one but myself. Yeah? What happens when you want more ghouls? You go right back to Black and give him anything. You're every bit as much his puppet as these people are yours. <laughs> If we don't turn off that fryer, the pressure building inside it could cause an explosion of hot grease that would take out half of Slug Terra! Yeah, I don't think so. I got this. <laughs> if I don't make it back, you need to finish. But I started. I will. I'm going after him. Remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't hurt him. This is your time! Millard Milford believes in you! Eh, he's dedicated. I'll give him that. Okay, Jules, you know what to do. My minions, time to add another to your ranks. No point in struggling, Eli Shen. You will be my slave. Must obey myself. <laughs> You seriously thought you'd stop me by putting me under my own mind control? All you've done is made me twice as determined to win. You thought you had a chance? No, no, no. Never had one, never will. <laughs> Uh, 
Huh? Oh. Uh oh. This is never a good sign. Is the show over already? I don't remember any of it, Howard. Hypnotist acts, Sylvie. Worse than magicians. Well, I'll bear. My pleasure, little friend. But Saturday's gone. He who ghouls and runs away lives to ghoul another! Ew. Yeah. <laughs> Got news for you, Saturday. You're not headed to some cushy Eastern Country Club prison. You're going to mall jail. For services rendered, lifetime passes to the arcade. Wow, that's... Insulting, yeah, I know. I told upstairs you'd never take them as a reward. Your heroes, been a real honor. Face it, only one place we're ever gonna get real downtime. Right, let's go home. <laughs>